it's Bree, and I'm tired of people, girl. I want to share with you guys the importance of moving in silence. Because you know we got to keep these hoes guessing. If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that red button and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications because I know. After this video, you guys are going to want to see Brie all the time, every time I upload. Because I got a lot to say. I started my whole life over in a completely different state. I'm already ready to go, bitch. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, I haven't even been in this state for a full month. And I feel like God is telling me to go to the south. And I'm working really, really hard to just align with where God wants to take me because I know he don't want me in LA okay that chapter is closed bitch there's so much that I'm trying to figure out in my private life in regards to like reevaluating my goals I want to rebrand my YouTube channel I really feel like I've been on YouTube for three years bitch I don't know what else to talk about anymore I guess it's called youtuber burnout where it's just like you hit a creative block and you're just like why am I doing this what am I doing this for I don't even want to do this anymore it got to be something better for me out there I want to thank you guys for giving me the inspiration to even get in front of this camera and film because when I was on live stream yesterday I was very transparent with you guys and I told you guys like bitch I've been doing this for a minute I don't know what else to talk about and y'all was like girl you have so much to talk about you just moved to another state tell us about your dating life do vlogmas do y'all really was trying to bully me into doing vlogmas girl can I live can I fucking live okay 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 I don't want to get too far off topic I definitely do want to get into today's title but really honestly since Sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys for giving me the motivation to even do this because this is my passion and I've put so much energy and so much effort into this platform. It's kind of stupid to just give up and walk away and it's kind of stupid to like start a new chapter and not document it because I've documented some of the darkest times in my life on this channel. So why not document the happy times? Why not document a new exciting chapter? Because I know just how there's people that desperately want to see me fail. God is starting to remind me and you guys are starting to remind me that there's equally as many people that want to see me win and sometimes bitch I'll be getting blindsided so that's why we're gonna talk about the importance of moving in silence today I hope I made sense but if you watch me for a minute I made a hundred percent sense so let's get into it here on my channel I have shared a lot about dealing with fake friends toxic family members shady ass roommates I can honestly and confidently say I got it out the mud like period if people went through half of what I went through bitches would be like off they rocker like people like to say I'm crazy but girl I could be crazier all the shit that I've been through in my life okay and I feel like I'm holding it together very well I don't look like what I've been through at all and if you agree don't even say nothing just go ahead and thumbs up that video girl because you know we're trying to go viral but no I said all of that to say as I sit here today I realize that everything that I've gone through has brought me to where I am today and has taught me some very valuable lessons and why you can't always be so open so genuine and so transparent with people some things you really truly got to keep to yourself in order to protect them and that's why I feel like this video has come over me today for some reason you bitches think I'm a motivational speaker girl I just been through a lot of things and I got a story to tell okay now that I'm in a new state in a new chapter of my life I could confidently say that I've learned my lessons and I'm ready to step boldly into this new chapter of my life so considering I've learned my lessons I realized that some things I really do need to keep to myself which is why I titled this video what I titled this video today when you're trying to chase a dream especially if it's like creative if you guys are creatives out there you know the struggle of being an artist like life will take you up and down and round and round and honestly it just creates better content that's the crazy part all the stuff that I've gone through is why I'm able to sit here and talk to you guys about this subject having to start my life all over has really taught me the importance of moving in silence because when you're chasing a dream or when you're going after something that you're passionate about there's no manual you're gonna have to feel your way through the dark and I feel like it's better to do that alone than to have a whole bunch of people basically preying on your downfall I feel like it's important to move in silence because not everybody's gonna be happy for you bro not everybody want to see you win some people are only gonna stalk you and watch you so they could copy you not everybody is a good person and I feel like that's why it's so good to move in silence because it gives you time to nurture the things that you're trying to manage Manifest. And I feel like that's very important because in my journey, not just on YouTube, but like in my private life, I have tried to bring people with me. I have told people my hopes and dreams and they didn't even want me to have that. And I've learned from that experience. Like for instance, yesterday I showed
show somebody my dream car. This is the car I'm trying to manifest. And when I woke up the next day, I was like, bitch, you should have never did that. Like, when I say instant regret, I mean instant regret because you never know people's intentions. That's why it's so important to develop a relationship with God because in 2021, going into 2022, bitch, this is a wicked world. Like, everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to be successful overnight. And if you have the potential to actually achieve that, you think people are not gonna go out of their way to be a roadblock or an obstacle in your life? Be real, bitch. I'm at a place in my life, I wanna be stable so bad. And even though I feel drained, I feel exhausted, bitch. I done fought so many demons. I'm like, come on, guys, just give me a miracle at this point. Sometimes I don't even know where I find the strength to keep going, to get out of bed, but I continue to do it. And I feel like it's better for me to go through this in private. I feel like with social media these days, we feel like we need to share every single thing no, you don't. No, you don't. People don't even need to know you like that. Why do people need to be in your business like that? They don't. Are they helping you pay your bills? No. But I bet you if you got evicted right now, I bet you if your cell phone got turned off right now, they will be kiki kiki kiki. They will be laughing about that. That's what I'm saying. Your successes and your failures. Keep that shit to yourself. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, being on social media and developing the platform that I have today, I really realized the importance of like processing your emotions in private and not just like getting on the internet. Like I'll give you an example. Back in the day, I used to be one of those people that tweeted every single thought that came to my mind. Now I know the importance of keeping some things to myself. It's important to move in silence because you need to have a little bit of mystery to you. It's good to keep people guessing. It's good to have people wonder, oh my God, what is she gonna do next? And it's very very, very good to have your haters in a state of fear. I don't know about you, bitch, but I don't like my haters just as much as they don't like me. So I want them scared, shook, panicking, because they never know when they're going to see me with a new car, when they're going to see me in a new house, when they're going to see me with a new man. That's the beauty of moving in silence, because it gives you peace of mind. The more people put their energy on things that you want and hope and pray and desire for, the less pure it is. And I hope I'm making sense, but bitch, I honestly feel like I'm a living testimony, because I I used to tweet everything that I was thinking. I used to tell people my every, like if I signed up for a TV show, I would tell people, oh my God, I signed up for the real world. Da -da -da -da. And people would be like, oh my God, you're gonna get it. When I tell you the fake love is out of control, people will support you just so they can ride your coattail, bitch, and they don't even like you. As soon as you walk out of the room, they talking shit about you. That's another reason, like now I'm at a place where people be like, oh, Brianna, what you got going on? Oh, I'm working on a few things. You can still tell people stuff. You don't have to be a straight up bitch, but am I gonna go in detail? Detail? Absolutely not because people will take advantage of that a lot of people will think that because you're genuine and because you're a true down-to-earth person that you're stupid or something Have you guys ever noticed that you could be talking to somebody about something and you you giving them all the tea But they're not telling you anything about themselves You need to learn from those kind of people like pay attention to the people that want to know everything that you doing But they're not telling you nothing about themselves. That's the ultimate red flag, honey Now this right here is a really big reason why I think it's important to move in silence. Sometimes you could tell somebody what you're going after or what you want and they'll try to talk you out of it. They'll try to tell you it's unattainable. So why even put yourself in a position to let somebody project onto you? Why even put yourself in a situation where you have to receive that energy and now you're starting to doubt yourself? I genuinely believe God would never give us a dream if it was unattainable. I don't know who y'all believe in, but I believe in God and I believe he is not gonna tell me, oh, you're gonna be a superstar. You're gonna be a celebrity. You're gonna be a millionaire if I couldn't do it. So that's why you need to move in silence because people will literally try to talk you out your dream. People will literally try to psych you out of your own destiny. And ain't nobody got time for that. Now this is gonna sound really corny, but I believe this from the bottom of my soul. If I could dream it, I can't achieve it. I'm just tired of people standing in my way. That's why I said at the beginning of the video, I'm tired of people, okay? I enjoy moving in silence because nobody knows what I'm doing and nobody can critique me. Nobody can give me an opinion that I didn't ask for because they don't know what I'm doing. Bitch, you gonna have to start making stuff up because you don't know what's going on. Look at Beyonce. She's the queen of moving in silence. And how powerful is she? I don't know about you guys, but I want to be like Beyonce and I'm tired of people standing in my way and I'm tired of people telling me what I can't do and I'm tired of people adding unnecessary stress to my life. That's why I decided to shut my mouth, put my head down, focus on where I want to go and just make it happen. Because at the end of the day, my goals and my dreams are nobody business but mine and God. And that's just how I feel. Now some people may say, bring on it. 
You just got trust issues. Bitch, you're absolutely right. Have you seen my channel? Have you seen the story times I've uploaded? You are damn right. I have trust issues, bitch. So if you're gonna take it from anybody, please take it from me. Move in silence. Stack your money. Get all your ducks in a row. Fix your credit score. Make people wonder how did she do it? And then maybe one day you could teach a master class. You could get paid to teach people everything that you learned in private. I'm making this video today because I feel like I need to wake people up. I feel like honestly, I'm the top person to speak on this topic because I did not know how many ops I had around me. I had people around me that hated my guts and I wanted to see them win. And it's very important to protect your energy. That's why you need to move in silence. Protect your blessings. Protect your future. Protect the things that you're working on. Don't let people get in between you and your passion, you and your dream. And I'm saying that because I'm still in front of this camera. I'm still fighting for my dream. No matter how many people tell me my channel is dead. No matter how many people tell me, oh, people only watch you to make fun of you. Girl, I'm still pushing. So if I could do it, you could do it. I got my mind right. I move different now. And I want to inspire you guys to do the same. If you guys like this video go ahead and turn that thumbs up blue support your girl get those fingers moving in the comments below and let me know if you guys can relate to this let me know what you guys want me to talk about next because honestly girl i'm so ready to boss up i'm starting to realize you guys inspire me so much you are the real angel game and when i say i love you at the end of every single video bitch i mean it with that being said i love you guys obviously and i'll see you in the next video till next time I miss saying it.